Okay, I have been using this Sears automatic battery charger for a long time and I say 99% of the time it worked but the last time I used it, it didn't work. My friend drained his battery by le leaving his headlights on. So I'm not sure how that came to be because usually the Toyota cars, the headlights would automatically turn off if you left it on by mistake. After maybe like 20 minutes, it would shut down. But his didn't, so it drained his battery. And initially, I tried jumping it with this kind of battery jumper. This is a lithium iron pack. Didn't work. And his car was uh, was in the driveway head first, so I I can't really um, use a another car to jump his battery. So I ended up using a battery charger just to charge up the battery. But when I connected the battery charger to his battery and plugged it in. Um, I set it to 10 amps and it would charge for like 20 seconds to half a minute and then um, it would disconnect, it would shut off. And it did that a couple of times and I would hear a click and then the charger would turn off. So I tried charging it at 2 amps. And that made it work. It didn't trip the thermal protection. But of course, his battery was completely discharged. So it would take a long, long time if I were to charge it at 2 amps. So after charging the car for maybe like an hour or so at 2 amps, I switched it back to 10 amps. And then at that time, the charger stayed on. So I guess the problem was his battery was completely drained and the charger was overloading itself when it tried to charge it at 10-15 amps. It actually went up to 15 amps and then it just overloaded and the charger has two thermal protection one is at the transformer and if that fuse blow then you have to replace the transformer or maybe there's a fuse in there that you can replace but it is not something that you can do yourself and there's a second thermal protection at the switch here that is a part that you can uh, replace but this circuit breaker it would go into thermal protection, it would open and then when it cools down it would close again. So usually you don't have to replace it. And the solution is really just to slow charge it in the beginning and then when the battery has gained some charge you can switch it to 10 amps to give it a quicker charge. So. Uh, that was my experience uh, using this battery charger and um, for the first time it didn't work because most of the time when I use this the battery is not completely drained and usually I just have to charge it for two three hours and it would work and um, it never would go into thermal protection and um, also, on the day of the charging, it was very hot and I have to leave this on the driveway. So it was overheating already and the sun was beating down on it. So I ended up shading the charger with a piece of cardboard. So you can feel that it was, it was overheating because you put your hand on it, it was pretty warm. So it went into thermal protection. So that's the story with a Sears automatic charger. 
All right. Thanks for watching.